What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. Welcome to your stimulus check update, stimulus package, and infrastructure update and daily news report for Tuesday, June 1st. Yes, this is it. This is it guys. Here's what you need to understand because this is the month that many people have been waiting for. Both the good and the bad should be coming from June. So let's just break down what is going to happen in the month of June and let's talk about what we could potentially see because of this. Here's what we know. In June, Democrats and Republicans should either come to an agreement on the infrastructure package or Democrats will decide to go at it alone through a budget reconciliation. We also know the IRS stated that the child tax credit portal should be up and running sometime in June so that payments can start going out on July 15th. We know this is the month where we will see about 3 million Americans, about 3 to 3.5 million Americans lose all their unemployment benefits, which is prompting many lawmakers to argue that an additional stimulus check should go out to this group. Also, this is another big one. This will be a major shift because at the end of the month of June, we know that the federal eviction moratorium will expire. So here's where all this stuff currently uh, is breaking down and where we are going to see lawmakers argue and fight and discuss potential legislation for millions and millions of Americans. So first off, hopefully you guys had a wonderful Memorial Day weekend. Hopefully your week is going great already so far. If you have any questions whatsoever, please ask your questions down in the comment section below. Again, remember, there are scammers out there trying to, they're using my name, my picture, and this is happening over many different YouTube channels as well, not just mine but you are seeing them use my name, my picture, and they try to get you to send them a message through WhatsApp where they will try to scam you. So I will never ask you to send me a message through WhatsApp, never ask you to send me any money. Here's what we know. Right now, Democrats and Republicans are trying to work out an agreement with the infrastructure package. They're trying to get bipartisan support. That's exactly what President Biden has stated he wants. However, President Biden alluded to the fact that he wants to see an infrastructure bill somewhere between $1 and $1.2 trillion from the Republican side. The problem is Republicans came back with an offer of $928 billion. That is not enough to really move the needle, but this is, according to some, this is progress. This is good news. So we will see what happens, but according to President Biden, we need to see this agreement by June 9th. That is next week, but, and that's, I believe, next Wednesday. But Treasurer, uh, Transportation Secretary Buttigieg, he stated that he wants to have a clear package, a clear plan uh, you know, ready and available to him by June 7th. That is next Monday. So we have six more days right now. And that's the first day that lawmakers will be back at Capitol Hill. So right now, some are saying most likely the GOP will just blow past this additional uh, deadline. They will blow past it and they won't meet the deadline again. And if this happens, what we're hearing is that progressives are saying that we just need to move forward and stop relying on the GOP because they are just going to uh, you know, try to play delay tactic after delay tactic, which as of right now, uh, if that is what they're doing, it is actually working. So we'll see what happens there. But what we do know is that this is the month that Hopefully, we will have an infrastructure package deal done, the negotiations will be over, and they will start working in the committees and putting this plan together. If that's the case, there's a chance through a bipartisan uh, bill, we could see this pass before July 4th. If it's not bipartisan, this bill will not pass before July 4th. That is a guarantee. Here's the next thing. The IRS has stated that the child tax credit portal should be up and running sometime in June. If you didn't see my video that I did last night, I addressed the issues behind the IRS. The IRS does not have enough representatives to do all their manual reviews, go through all the people's tax returns, and go through all the unemployment income tax uh, refunds and try to you know, correct these amounts. 
They don't have enough people. And the problem with this by not having enough representatives is that they are, they are actually experiencing delays in every single step. So they were experiencing delays in the 2019 tax returns. Uh, as of right now, according to reports, is they're very they're fairly close to getting the 2019 uh, personal income tax returns done. So again, if you still haven't received your 2019 uh, income tax refund, well, there's a chance uh, that that is part of the last batch. We also know that because of that delay, there was delays in sending out stimulus checks. The stimulus checks took priority over everything else. So being that the IRS was sending out you know hundreds of uh, millions of stimulus checks, what we know is that they put the, the income tax returns kind of on the back burner. The unemployment income tax refunds on the back burner as well. And so now they're working on those being that the majority of the stimulus checks have been sent out. Well, what's coming up now is that the IRS needs to figure out the child tax credit portal. So that is actually going to push stimulus or not the stimulus checks, but the unemployment income uh, tax. That's going to put that a little bit on the back burner. And also it's going to put on the unemployment uh, income tax refunds on the back burner as well. So right now, what we're hearing is that there's going to be more delays because the IRS wants to ensure that the child tax credit portal is up and running so that the American people can start receiving their payments for this child tax credit monthly payment starting on July 15th. So again, there's a lot of delays happening here, but what you need to understand is that we know these delays are, are bound to come. This is not something that's new. Just because the IRS says July 15th is the date we're sending that you're gonna start, doesn't mean that's when they're actually gonna do it. They also stated back on May 1st, people that uh, you know filed their, their income taxes early and didn't get the unemployment income tax uh, refunds or that waiver, if that was the case, they said on May 1st, we're gonna start sending out these payments. Well, even on even yesterday, May 31st, just talking to, you know, people in the community, nobody's received these yet. And the IRS also stated that they're going to send out the easiest uh, refunds first, and then they'll get to the more complex uh, income taxes. So that could be part of the issue. But as of right now, we just don't know. And here's the big one. This is a, this is a big one because this could happen in just 11 days. On June 12th is when a couple states will be canceling, stopping completely, their federal unemployment benefits. This means the $300 per week, gone. Long-term unemployment benefits, gone. The pandemic unemployment assistance for self-employed and gig workers, gone. All these will be gone. This is in just 11 days on June 12th. So this is the month where we know between three and 3.5 million Americans will lose all their unemployment benefits. And this is prompting many lawmakers to argue that a stimulus check could save this group. And this is exactly what is needed. Here's what I can tell you. Some states, I think Mississippi is one of those states, are actually fighting themselves as to should we cancel unemployment benefits early? What we know right now, there's 24 states that have said they will cancel unemployment benefits early. However, there are some, and not a lot, there are some, according to reports, that are still contemplating canceling this benefit early, or should they just keep it? Now, there's, there's an argument for both sides. We keep the unemployment insurance benefits because if we don't, then we need to figure out another way to, to provide for these people. Uh, in addition to that, we need to figure out a way to get back you know, our, our workforce, to get people back into their jobs. Well, maybe, maybe canceling unemployment benefits is not the best move at this time, especially when we're still in this pandemic. Maybe it's to entice the American people to get back to work through some type of bonus, right? So where, where the state is still giving the, the person, the, the jobless worker, a, a bonus or a benefit, but it's to go back to work. So they're still getting something, right? And then they can cancel benefits. Right now, most governors don't really know what to do. Some are just following suit with the others. Some don't have no clue. They're just like, oh, well, Florida's doing this. We'll do that. Texas is doing this. Yeah, we'll do what Texas does. No big deal. 
Texas is doing it. It should be okay, right? That's not the case. Every state is different. So the government right now, and many experts are saying that this should be a state by state basis. It shouldn't just be all Republican states, get rid of unemployment benefits. All Democratic states, you keep your benefits. That's not the way it should work. It should be based off of unemployment rate, the economy, how is it recovering? Is it bouncing back? How many jobs are available in that state? That's what experts are saying should be used as a metric, not just, oh, I'm a Republican governor, I'm gonna cancel benefits. I'm a Democratic governor, I'm gonna keep these benefits for till, until September 6th when they actually expire. So right now, this is actually prompting many lawmakers to argue that a stimulus check should be needed and this could save this group. But here's the argument. Some say that we need to save this group. Well, if a stimulus check goes out and it only goes to those that are currently unemployed, what do you think is going to happen? My guess, okay, based off of reading uh, you know many different articles, and this is uh, this is something that a few experts have mentioned as well, is what we would see is people would try to exploit the system, exploit the program, and they would go on unemployment. They would quit their job, go on unemployment, stating that, well, I don't feel safe, right? Because that's one of the things that, you know, the Biden administration has said, if you don't feel safe, you are worried that you could contract COVID, then you can go on unemployment. Well, these people, according to uh, a few different articles, you're not, not everybody, but some, would ex exploit the system, go back on unemployment, collect the the bonus to go and find a job or go and get their job back so they would get unemployment, they'd get the big bonus, and they'd, they'd never really lose any work. And so that's the issue right now is some are saying that, yes, we need to provide for this group. However, they need to do it without risking more scams, right? Risk, risking uh, all, these, uh, all these different people just trying to go out and find that free money essentially, you know, in the beginning of this pandemic, that's exactly what a lot of people did. They went out to figure out, okay, where's the free money? Where can I get it? What do I need? How do I do it? A lot of people were very successful. Some people, it was just scam after scam after scam. Now they're getting caught, which is great because hopefully the United States will get their money back. The taxpayers will not have to pay this to somebody that is in a different country just trying to steal our money. So that's actually pretty good. But what I can tell you right now is that just because these these three to three and a half, it's going to be about four, a little bit over four million people in the end after I think the first week of July. But what I can tell you right now is that as we see the four million people go on unemployment or that are on unemployment pretty much be kicked off and they have absolutely no income. According to experts, July is going to be a difficult month. But the problem is... July is going to be a difficult month. We will not see the results of July until the beginning of August. Well, what happens in the beginning of August? Congress is on recess. They will be on recess until September. So because of that, even though we have a tough month of July, a full month, we're going to see a tough month of August, another full month. And it wouldn't happen until September where we could potentially see more legislation passed. This is one of the reasons why many experts are saying that right now, if we see anything done, especially for stimulus, for unemployment, for you know the jobless, right? If we see anything done, it probably will not happen until September. So we will see. And to make things worse, you lose your unemployment benefits in June, okay? Or possibly the first week of July. Well, the very last day of June is when the federal unemployment or the federal uh, eviction moratorium expires. So this is where, according to reports, about 11 million people could be out of their homes. Right now, the average American that is behind on rent is behind about is behind between nine and ten months. So let's say your rent is, let's say a thousand dollars per month. I think that's about average. Just curious. Let me know what your rent is down in the comment section below. I'd be curious to know, uh, you know, possibly what state you're in and how much it is. But the federal eviction moratorium expires at the end of this month. That means 11 million people not only could be, you know, out of any income because they don't have any unemployment benefits, but they could be out of their home. They could be homeless. 
And if you're homeless and you have no money, how do you go and get a new apartment? How do you go and live? How do you buy the essentials? How do you put food on the table? Or put food on your lap, wherever you're at? How do you do that? That is what some are saying is going to be impossible. This is already a difficult situation. And this month could make things even harder. So I just want to be 100% clear. I will be here. I will provide you updates. I'll keep you updated on everything that's going on. If we see additional stimulus talks, we see a push more towards an additional stimulus check, child tax credit payments, uh, you know, the refund checks coming out, I promise I will fill you in on all those details. Right now, Congress is on recess. And I stated this, uh, I think on Saturday as well, that my guess is Sunday, Monday, and today, we're not going to get uh, the most or the, especially the newest updates, my, my guess is that's just not going to happen. People are still probably coming back from Memorial Day weekend. So what I can tell you is I will keep you updated on everything that we're hearing, but just understand today we might not have a lot of updates simply because people are just now coming back. I just want to thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you have a wonderful rest of your day. Consider subscribing so you can continue to, so I can continue to keep you updated on everything that's going on, and I'll see you guys on the next one.